Hey guys, so back in August, I actually built my first PC, which is right here. And since I'm gonna be upgrading it, I just wanted to quickly give you a rundown of what exactly I had in this, in this build. Now this build, if you include every single thing I got, is gonna cost around $800. I'm not sure exactly at this point, but for me it was around eight to $850 for this whole build together. So I'm gonna show the important parts first to having uh, the PC built, and then I'll have uh, the other stuff I put in, like which are optional, which are like uh, this right here, the disc, uh, sorry, the CD drive, and uh, Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity. So anyways, let's get to this. So what you're seeing here is the NZXT 210 uh, source mid tower case and this should cost around uh, somewhere under $40 I think last time I checked it was around $37 and yeah prices tend to fluctuate all the time with uh, PC stuff and yeah I'm sorry if this video is really crappy uh, inside this is the Intel 4690k and the fan that's included with it it's around $200 at this point in time, so it's definitely a great processor. It's clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, it works well for me for video editing and stuff like that. Now, the next thing is this right here, this baby. This is the Winforce GTX 960, four gigabyte. I believe it's super clocked. I'm not exactly too sure about it. The other thing with this graphics card here is that I played games like Metal Gear Solid 5, Bioshock, well it was the first Bioshock, and then The Witcher, and those games ran pretty well. Of course, with The Witcher 3, you're not going to get over 60 frames at ultra high settings or in such. But something with like, you know, medium to higher uh, graphic settings should be fine, you know, you'll get around 60 frames. With Metal Gear Solid, I usually got over 60 frames at ultra settings, except when I added post-processing. There were times when it started to, it, the frame rate tended to drop around 40 or a little under 40 I think one time. But yeah, that's that. I mean, it's it's really what you should expect with the price you're paying for this. And yeah, so the next thing is that I have two, uh, two four gigabyte sticks. Ballistics, I think makes these. Yeah, and then the motherboard here itself is the ASRock Extreme 3 uh, 97. This costs it around $100. Now on the bottom is where the power supply is, and this is the EVGA 500 watt um, 80 plus bronze. And this is uh, pretty, it's, it's efficient as long as you're not gonna overclock anything. And um, yeah, the power supply is on the bottom. Everything else is on the top. I didn't really get to show you much on the back here, the back side of this uh, case. And there's really not much to see on the other side. So the fan is up here. And yeah, all that good stuff. And so, I guess the one thing you've noticed is that this really isn't, um, I really didn't do a good job with cable management here. But yeah, that's what it is. And then I have my, oh, I have my, uh, WD one terabyte supply here. It's an HD, it's not an SSD, unfortunately. Um, I didn't know about SSDs back then, so I was uh, not really interested in it, I, but big mistake. If you can get an SSD, get it, it's worth buying. And then right here is uh, the CD drive I have. And this was about um, $15, I'd say. I got it. I got some of these uh, parts from a place called Micro Center. If you don't know what that is, um, definitely uh, check them out. Microcenter.com. I'll have a link in the description because they tend to have prices a little cheaper than Amazon sometimes, surprisingly, with this stuff or Newegg too. So yeah, this is my uh, quick show, quick look at my first build, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely going to be making more. I'm actually upgrading to the R9 390 here. I can't zoom in, but yeah, I'm upgrading to the R9 390 and uh, definitely have to get another power supply now. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.